We are familiar with the desi thin fat pattern. A lot of Indians have poor muscle mass and high levels of fat around the belly. Data tells us Indians are at higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. At a lower level of obesity, meaning a thin looking Indian person with a slight pot belly is at higher risk than a significantly more obese American. One theory is the average Indian diet of high carbs and low protein is to blame. But it turns out that even those with good diets are still relatively at higher risk. So that's not the only factor. The other theory, British colonial mismanagement of food security, repeated famines, destruction of millet cultivation, leading to over dependence on rice and wheat. It was proposed that if your parents or grandparents experience food shortages, your genes will epigenetically express themselves to add more fat because the body believes you might not get to eat again. Turns out this is also not the entire story. Scientists studied skeletons going back thousands of years in India and found that low lean mass is a feature ever since we switched from being hunter-gatherers to agriculture. The El Nino Southern Oscillation is a climate phenomenon that has made monsoons unpredictable in the last 5,000 years. So famines have been constant in Indian history. And the ability to store fat without putting on muscle is a successful evolutionary adaptation. There is something deeply profound and disturbing when you consider that our bodies are designed for scarcity, not abundance.